everybody, this is Lenora, Hawaii's pickle lady. Today I'm teaching you how to make Asian tapioca. It's different from the American type, which is in a box. The tapioca is a little different. This is uh, made with tiny little pearls, as you can see. And you can buy it in a one pound bag like this, probably in Chinatown. And all I have is six cups of water boiling and I'm gonna stir in one cup of the tapioca pearls. And then I have to stir it almost constantly because otherwise it'll stick to the bottom. So what I'm waiting for is the tapioca to be translucent, kind of, almost all of it. You see it's very white yet. In about oh, 15 minutes or so, it'll be clear. And then we'll come back. To it. It's been cooking for 15 minutes and you can see it's probably about 95% all clear. There's some white spots but that's okay. It'll keep on cooking. So now what I do is I add a can of coconut milk, 13 ounce. And this is the good one, Chow Ko. You see how much cream there is in it? I like this brand the best. Just the whole can. So you see there's a very few simple, very few ingredients. Okay. Now, I'm adding a can of light cheese. This is the can, and this is what it looks like. Okay. And the fruit looks like this, you see? But I've cut them up, and you can put like lungan, you can put other kinds of fruits, but I like the lychee. You can even put uh, cooked taro in it, and, or the uh, purple yams, the Japanese yams that are already cooked, and it's also very good. So I also add the juice from the lychee can. And then half a cup of sugar. And that's it. All you have to do is mix it up. And you can eat it hot or cold. Most people like it cold. As it sits and cools, it might thicken a little bit, but you see how nice the pearls are? So if, if you think it's too thick, you can add more water if you like. Okay, that's it.